Just so I can easily credit up on the two-player side. Alright. Oh yeah, this game's kind of loud, huh? Yeah, it's another game with stretchy arms. So yeah, this, this game came out like uh, a couple years after the... Uh, after the Neo Geo was turning into the, uh, the fighting game console. And, like, uh... Wait, which stage do I want to start with? Was it wind? I think it was wind. You can actually pick your world at the beginning. And as such, it's got, uh... It's got, like, special moves that you can do with, uh, joystick inputs in this game. And the moves are actually, uh, or most of them, are moves that, like, other SNK characters do. Like, this is this is King's Venom Strike. This is Robert's, uh, Genie Kyaku. That's Joe Higashi's Slash Kick. That's Terry Bogard's Power Wave. Like, there's a lot of, a lot of neat shit in this game that was pretty much nods to, like, other SNK games. And yeah, we got line switching from Fatal Fury. Which is the one I gotta pull this one. Pull my lever. Uh oh, Kanoko, please. Oh, and she's also got a DP, but I don't think the the DP is like anybody's. I don't. I can't think of an SNK character that has that exact move. At least in '94. I think they kind of. I uh, had to bend the rules a little bit with her. Whatever. Oh, God. Yeah, you actually... The damage in this game is kind of ridiculous. As somebody would say, the damage is out of control. Like, three hits usually kills you in this game. Oh, give me that, uh... Whoop. I mean that cheese! There we go. That's that's Joe Higashi's slash kick from, uh, from Fatal Fury 2. Or special. Wait, let me do it. Ah, can't do it. Come on. Why can't I do it? There it is. Yeah, the motion for that is like you have to hold down forward and then go forward. Oh, the up kick. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, also you have a slide kick. I guess it's like... Robert slide in Art of Fighting 2. Anyway, every stage has a bonus stage. You can kind of skip these if you're not playing for score. Except there's a couple of them that give you one-ups. I can understand skipping these because these, these do kind of break up the flow of the game a little bit. Although, although playing for score isn't such a bad idea because uh, you get extra lives at like 70,000 and 210,000 or something. I don't really know if it's supposed to be Genocide Cutter because this game came out before KOF 94. By like a few months, I think. It's possible they knew about it at SNK, but I don't know. Also, you have a... Wait, you have a super jump, don't you? There we go. And you can get in mechs. The mechs are actually really good because they they protect you from damage. The mechs have like their own their own health bar. I'm still not at the boss. This is just another sub boss. There's a lot of sub bosses in this game. There we go. Thanks, Retro Omega. Yeah, this is a... a really nice looking game. It's very colorful. It only came out on the Neo Geo, never got a port. Kinda went under the radar at the time. First boss starts out with a small health bar, but they get bigger later. Oh, 
But that's not actually the end of the world. Each world has two stages, at least in the arcade version. Big man. Also, if you're playing for score, that, uh... That rapid kick, like, gives you the most points. Oops, I missed. Oh, what the? Okay, that was weird. Yeah, so the... The version that... Okay, the version that came out on the, uh... The home cartridge in the Neo CD is... It's a little bit different in terms of, like, level... Uh, level progression. So basically, every every world is supposed to have three levels, but you only you only play two of them in the arcade version. And like the way it works is that whatever whatever world you pick first, uh, you'll you'll play stage one of that world, and then the second stage will be stage three. For every world after that, the uh, like if I pick like the uh, the ice stage next. It'll actually take me to stage two of the ice stage, and then stage three for the, uh, the final part of the ice stage, so... But if you're playing on the, uh, the, the AES, the CD version, you actually go through all three stages, which makes the game a lot longer. I wonder if they just, uh, they were worried about, like, credits being too long on the, uh, on the arcade version, so they, uh... They chop out a lot of the levels you'll see in the arcade version. Because, like, without, uh, without the extra levels, I think, like, a 1cc on the home version is, like... It's, like, an hour. Like, this is still gonna be, like, 40 minutes. 40, 45 minutes. This is kind of a long game. <laughs> 69,000. Give me that extend. Nice. Yeah, I mean, like, a lot of the, uh, like, early on in the Neo Geo's life, like, a lot of the, a lot of the games had separate intros that, like, weren't in the arcade version, like, uh, like, Cyberlip and Mutation Nation had, like, these extra cutscenes that weren't, uh, weren't even in the, uh, the MVS version. You only saw them in the, the console version. I don't know if they were, like, Magician Lord has that full-on intro. I don't know if they were just trying to, like, Chop stuff down to make make game time shorter for the uh, for arcade goers, so people weren't on the cabinet too long. I mean, I get it, but <laughs> that's not actually a Chun Li kick. That's that's Robert Garcia from King of Fighters. Do -do 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 Come on. I want the mech. No, don't fire it. I think it just went off screen. Okay. Guess I'm not getting the mech. That was cool. Oh, yeah. Picking up more power-ups give you, like... Yeah, now I'm throwing, like, three power waves. And also, there's a, uh... There's a hidden super. Yeah, your, your moves upgrade when you pick up, like, uh... God, I can't do the DP. There we go. When you pick up multiple power-ups in a row without, uh, without getting hit. Damn, I kind of want the mech for this boss. I don't like this boss. That's why I do him first. Dodge the laser. Oh god. Yeah, there goes my power ups. Oh shit. Oh god. Uh I need that power up. Shit. That's why I wanted the mech. Oh, he's gonna do the Really don't wanna die here. There we go. She's gassed. 
Nah, this just doesn't really play like Metal Slug. Luckily, you do get your health back between stages. Look out below, look out below, look out below. I love Cyberlip. Uh, what did I want to do next? I think Ice. I think that's the order I go. So yeah, it doesn't matter like what order I pick the stages in now, you're always gonna pick, uh... You're always gonna do whatever whatever stage two is supposed to be of the, uh, of the next world. Yeah, it's like a mix between a platformer and a, and a beat-em-up and... Uh, it's a lot of things. The yo-yo platformer on Neo Geo? What's the yo-yo platformer? Ganryu? Oh, Spin Master. It's... yeah, it's kind of like Spin Master. I might be playing Spin Master tonight if there's time. Oop, get in the mech. Yeah, it kind of has some similarities to Spin Master. I mean, I don't, I don't really see this as being being that much like Gunstar Heroes because you don't really, you don't have a gun, and you're not picking up like different types of weapons. So, the Snowman Retreat. Heard you talking shit to my sons. Oh god. Try to anti air that. Just beating up everybody. Alright. One of those bonuses. Give me those bananas. Alright. Oh god, there goes my mic. Slow down. Okay. Bonus stages behind those. Behind that wall. So you can't you can't actually die in the bonus games. Like the the spike balls just make you drop your power ups or whatever. Nothing will actually do damage to you. It's just they're just there to get in the way. Ugh, big jump. Like, I think there's one stage if you want to get a perfect, you actually, you actually have to take a hit. Like, you gotta run into one of the spike balls just to get some invulnerability. If I had the mech, I would have gotten all the, all the health back on the mech, but, oh well. I should be fine on the boss. Alright, these guys are kind of a pain. You gotta like make them do their attack and then and then shoot the fireball at them. Oh man, I'm 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 so powered up. Throwing power waves everywhere. Okay. Oh this guy's got a mech. Can I still get in that? Uh oh. Shit. I can't get in it. And I lost the power up. Oh, okay, that's not good. Alright, we're gonna have to do this the, the hard way. A lot of these bosses, I just like to... get them, uh, get them jumping between, between planes. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna be kinda dirty. Or kinda, kinda ugly. These guys can block. You can really deplete their health bars if you get them caught in the uh, the rapid legs, but kind of not easy. There we go. Yeah. Satisfying. All right. Usually that boss goes down faster, but I didn't die. That's the important part. Misty. The Down of Ice. I think they meant Dawn. All 
remember this stage has these, these assholes like... Yep. If only there was a spreadsheet that had the list of games played. I don't have to fight these guys. Oh god. I can't remember if that, uh, if that lever's good or not. Uh oh. Oh, that's good. I kind of didn't like taking that hit because, like... Sometimes enemies will do, like, 60% of your life. Damage is kind of high in this game, even even on the default uh, level 4. Alright. That part's kind of tricky. Oh, now I got a gun. I'm finna shoot this guy. <laughs> That's so mean. Alright. Okay, so the the bonus stage here is like hidden in the background. Or wait, no, that's that's the fire stage. It's over here. Yeah. Some of them they were they were kind of creative with where they hid the bonus games. I was not oh god, I was not supposed to jump there. I missed the one up. I completely forgot the pattern. Oh well. So much for the score run. I should have enough lives, assuming I don't like uh I don't have a meltdown on the last stage, which happens sometime. Oh god. Also, yeah, everybody respawns when you come out of the bonus stage, so... Super time! I'm gonna stay over here and farm points. If you pull the lever, it makes the, uh, it makes this happen sooner. Uh oh. Did I miss the points? I think I did. Uh oh. No! Oh, I tried to jump. Is there help? I think there's help for the boss. Big gun can only be used by mechs. Otherwise, you just kind of toss it. Oh, there we go. You're a real weenie. Alright, this boss is pretty annoying. It's kind of hard to avoid taking damage here with the mech. You just kind of... Kind of face take it. Oop. When she's low on health, they start faking you out. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I haven't seen that happen before. The mech like blowing up did the rest of her <laughs> did the rest of her health bar. Cool. I'll take it. You can clip whatever you want. All right. Also, yeah, I got the uh, I got the second extend at uh, two hundred ten thousand. The default high score in this game is two hundred thousand points, which is a little on the high side. You got to clear like two whole worlds just to beat the default high score. 
Because, like, I distinctly remember, like, the first time I, I saw this game, I noticed, like, the default high score was 200,000, like, nobody had beaten it yet. I'm like, oh man, I want to beat that. And I couldn't. <laughs> this took some, uh... This took some time to learn. Oh, I don't like this pattern. Like there was a there was a Peter Piper pizza that that had this, and I started uh, I started playing it there a bit, and like slowly but surely, like I started to like just kind of figure the game out on my own and was getting was getting farther and farther on one credit until finally I've. I one cc'd it and was was pretty happy about that. Nobody ever touched my scores there. Ah, good times. Yeah, double kill. Yeah, so you gotta spend like a lot of time like just trying to kill as many enemies as possible with the uh, the Ginny Kyaku. That mech. Right. Also, yeah, I think I, I think I told this story before, but there was a uh, there was an arcade in San Antonio that had this in a, uh, a six slot cabinet. Like I was just oh, didn't mean to jump. Like I just uh, I just stopped by there one day during one of my trips to San Antonio, and... Like, it was... It wasn't one of the Diversions arcades, but it was, like, a, a nickel arcade owned by Diversions, so everything was, like, ten cents to play. And so they had a... They had a six-slot Neo Geo with Top Hunter in it. I'm like, oh, man, I remember Top Hunter. I'm gonna play this. This was in, like, 97, I think, so... This was, like, a few years after this game came out. But anyway, I saw, I saw Top Hunter in there, and I'm like, okay, I'm totally gonna, like, put up a 1cc score on this. Like, the instant, like, I, I walked up to the cabinet, uh, like, somebody else, like, uh, like, walked up behind me and was, like, uh, I guess was interested in playing something else on the, uh, on the six-slot cabinet there. And so he just kind of, like, uh, sat there and watched me. And... <laughs> I did end up 1cc in this. And, like I said, this is a, this is a kind of long game. This is, like, a 40, 45-minute game. And I went through, like, all the levels, all the bonus levels... Wasn't skipping anything. And that poor guy was just sitting there watching the entire time, wondering when this this asshole was going to get off the cabinet. I think he ended up playing uh, Puzzle Bobble or something. Like, you can't play that anywhere else. Like, there were no other arcades that had that. But yeah, that poor guy. Whoever you are, I'm sorry. I just really wanted to play Top Hunter. Like, it's an arcade! You could have found something else to play! I mean, Puzzle Bobble's pretty good. I'm not gonna argue that. But... Shit. This guy's blocking my shots. There we go. Oh, he's dizzy. Huh. You can actually pick up this tree. Huh. Yeah, maybe he actually wanted to enjoy the run. Where else are you going to find, uh... You can't find many people that can 1cc this game. It's not the hardest 1cc, but, like, just... Some random guy coming in and... One credit clearing the, uh... Clearing Top Hunter. But hey, now I, now I have the internet for, for showing these things off. Joystick dropping inputs? What's going on here? Like, I was... I was, like, trying, like, not to, like... make eye contact with him or anything, because it was just, like, kind of... I don't know. It was weird. Anyway, if you pull that lever, that rock comes down, it actually one-hit kills that pirate.
Yeah, the thing is, like, if he really wanted to play this, he could have, like, just joined in, although I'd, I probably would have asked for him, like, not to do that, because it would have... it would have fucked up my high score. Which is what people sometimes did to me when I was going for a score run in Shock Troopers. That was the worst. Of course, that was back when I was only at, at like, 16 or 17 million on Shock Troopers, but... Somebody just insists on joining in on the other side. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. That happened a lot with House of the Dead, also. There were always people that wanted to join in on the, on the other side of House of the Dead. I would usually say, like, hey, I don't think the, uh, I don't think that gun's calibrated right. Just to, tr like, try to discourage them. Didn't always work. Yeah, I always, I always ask on these things. <laughs> yeah, he, he finna get a boot in the ass. Oh, I think that lever just, like, wakes everybody up off the tree. I don't know what that does. All right, yeah, these are the uh, the knights again. So this thing, you want to get them like underneath the uh, the rock, smush them. Oh, I missed. Otherwise, they take a lot of damage. Oh, this guy's got a gun. No, I got a gun. They don't give you enough guns in this game. It's actually less points, but whatever. All right, forest boss. So this guy, you can either just throw fireballs all day, or pick up the uh, the spike balls and throw them back at him. Uh, it's hard to tell like which one is in which plane. Like you have to watch the shadows really carefully on this boss. getting bored. Yeah, I noticed that, that all the bosses escape after you kill them. Yep, the, uh, the kick projectile is definitely King's Venom Strike. Alright, Fire Planet's definitely the, the most difficult planet. Like, you gotta be careful when you jump between planes, because there's there's flames coming up that'll just, like, they'll do a lot of damage. Oh god. I didn't know where those were landing! What the fuck? Yes, points. I can't get the... You gotta hit, do a lot of inputs to get the uh, the rapid kick out. Uh oh, puzzle solving. Puzzle solved. Uh oh. Wait, this isn't the... I think that's later. I don't remember which stage you have to, like, bounce into the wall on. Maybe that's later. I need time. Give me that time. Oh yeah, it's not this stage. I remember where the, the bonus stage is now. It's like right up here. Mm 
I don't have the, the power up though. Ah. Yeah. This is all because I lost the power up. Yeah, entire ears. Alright, watch out for this flamethrower asshole. I don't know why he's flashing. Yeah, here's the bonus stage. I was trying to remember where it was. Do -do, do -do, do -do -do. I think this has a one up also. Or maybe that's the next stage. Yeah, take that hit. There it is. Oh, that's easy. There's definitely a one up on the next one too. But it's it's harder to get to. Okay. Pick this up. Watch out for that, that rock statue, because that guy, like, pushes it on you. You can push them, too, though. Oh, what? what? I got hit by the flame. I didn't think I was that close to it. Alright, whatever. Come on. I'm not going over there. You gotta come to me, dude. Shit. This guy had to show up. If I hit him, he's probably gonna, like, the mech's gonna fall backwards. I don't want that to happen. He's, we gotta do this in, like, the middle of the screen. There it is. Nice duck. There we go. Oh, he blocked that? Stop blocking, that's cheap. Oh my god. Okay. Nice. Oh, thank god. Try not to lose any lives. Yeah, the, uh, the damaging items in the bonus stage don't actually... They don't actually do damage to your life bar. They just cause you to lose your power-up, so... You can't actually die in the bonus stages, thankfully. This ain't Zookeeper. Oh, we got new enemies. Whoop, what? Oh god. I thought I was still invincible. Okay. Toss that. Smush this nerd. Why didn't he get smushed? Alright, I lost a life. Sometimes the lever, like, doesn't activate immediately. Did that guy just go up? What the fuck is going on? I'm losing all the mechs. Alright, where is it again? It's, like, right... There it is. <laughs> you actually have to smack against the wall. Fuck. I didn't want to lose that life. Okay, I know there's a one up here somewhere. I think I have to take a hit to get to it. Like, right around... here? Yeah, like, you have to use the iframes from getting hit to get in there. Nice.
I didn't forget everything. Oh, maybe the mech guy will come back. No, he doesn't. Give me that chocolate. Alright. Oh god. I don't know what that thing is. We're just gonna smush this idiot. I don't know how you're supposed to do that fight otherwise, because otherwise you you can't jump into the other plane, so you just get surrounded. Okay, this kind of sucks, because I, I usually have the mech for this part. For the boss, anyway. Kanoko, please. Okay, there's like some, some hidden stuff up here? I oh, know, it's up over there. Bonk. Okay, this boss is gonna be kind of annoying without the mech, but... Should be fine. So this boss's gimmick is that you have to hit the chest to make the, uh, the head pop off. Which is really hard to do if you don't know how to do special moves in this game. I thought he was going to do the other attack. Okay, this is going to take a while. Uh-oh. I fucked up. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to do. Okay. And get out! I lost the power-up, too. That's, that's really bad. Is this... I'm not doing much damage. It's gonna take like five cycles. Oh, he's spinning. There's a lot of a, a lot of stuff going on in this game. All right, final stage. Hi, oh, ass. Fifty million dollar reduce. <laughs> yeah, that boss did have the uh, that Bart and Lisa fight. I'm gonna start swinging my arms, and if you get hit, it's your own fault. Give me your gun. Oh, missed a coin. Watch the background. You better not walk off screen with your mech. Thank you. Okay, which one of these is the booby trap? Not that one. Alright, the lever to open the door. Don't get shot. I missed the coin again. Power up. Oh, there it is. Luckily, those these things don't hit on the way up. I should have plenty of time for this level. Uh -oh. Bombs. Fight a final 
pirate sub boss. Not taking any chances. Turn that off if I hit the switch. Whoa! Hello. Wow, that took out the mech? It wasn't even smoking yet. Okay. That's not good. Okay, this sub boss. This guy's a problem. I just do not want to lose the power up if I can help it. Okay, he's doing that first. Did I kill him off screen? Nice. Okay. He didn't drop his his loot though. Oh well. Yeah, that guy does a shitload of damage. Luckily that fight went as well as it did. Huh. Alright. Do I really want to keep the gun? I'm just gonna throw fireballs anyway. So you notice how like all the bosses like escape at the end of every every world? That's because they come back for a boss rush. Except they're not the same bosses, they're new patterns. For the most part. That one's kind of the same. But like, uh... The Ice Bitch, this is a different pattern. She didn't do any of this in the first fight. Luckily, if you have the fireballs... If you have the power-up... This isn't too bad. that health bar. Zoop. You're being chased. Actually, oh god, more. I thought I was out of range. Oh, and I lost the, oh god, I lost the power up. Okay, that's, that's an awful start. Because I can't get the power up back now. Ah, of course I got toasted. Got to pick up the little, the little parts of the, the neck. Okay. And I still got to fight this nerd. So the basic pattern here is get him to switch planes, hit him with a fireball. Do that twice, get the fuck out of the way. No! Fucking Space George Washington. Shit. I'd be doing more damage if I had the power up. Obviously. You can do this with jabs too, but it's way, way riskier. And less damage. iframes when he's landing sometimes. Oh, what, what are you doing? I want you on the other side, actually. This is important. Okay. Because I'm going to steal that wig.
Oops. Name. BBH. Give me that wig. I think I only died twice. I don't think I've ever gotten the no clear miss, or no miss clear on this, but... Two deaths, not bad. But yet everybody still survives somehow. Apparently there's like a... There's like a different ending, a different like hidden ending you can get on the CD version, but... You can't do it in the MVS version. <laughs> Thank you for the quarter bow toggle. Good ending music, too. Matlock wins! Oh, and Jackie Sparkles, thank you for the, the 29 Matlocks. We got a Sam Chai earlier. He's back in the mix. Last week it was all Karnov uh, notifications, but I, uh... Did that just say Oda Nobunaga worked on this game? <laughs> okay. Shiba Poo. Also, does a it does a special jingle here that they don't do in any other Neo Geo game from the commercials. It's the only time you get to see it. Actually, I think it plays on Game Over anyway. But yeah, they were they were using that jingle in their in their Japanese commercials, and I think this is the only Neo Geo game that has it, like programmed into the game. But yeah, this is this is a fun game. I highly recommend it. Once you learn all the, once you learn how to do the special moves, it's it's pretty it's pretty fun. It's pretty satisfying. What was my score again? It was like five hundred sixty-seven thousand seven hundred. I don't remember what my personal best is. I know I've done better than that, though. 